Good afternoon, this is Shikama of the Shikama Live Show. This video is addressed to black men, but it, it applies to all men, really. Black men, I'm going to give you some dating tips. <laughs> because I'm so such an expert at dating. Uh, if you knew anything about me, that, that would be... You're, you're probably laughing by now. I'm not an expert at dating, but I'm an expert at dating. I'm, I'm an expert at psychology, and I'm an expert at understanding the uh, social goings-ons of today. Uh, some people might be older, and they have to get back into the dating pool, and let me tell you something. It is not what it was not even 10 years ago. Just 10 years ago, everything was completely different. Oh, I know you said there's nothing new under the sun, but uh, trust me, there's something new under the sun. I want to talk to you about competitive females. These are females who have been empowered in a bad way, in the in a mind-altering way, in a propaganda way by feminism. A and they might even swear up and down that they're not feminists, that they have no use for feminism, that uh, they're not man-hating and all this sort of stuff. But... That does not mean that they have not been indoctrinated into the feminist psychology. Even men today have been indoctrinated into the feminist, feminist psychology because now they've couched it in terms of, if you think this way, you're a good person. huh? I, I want you to sit down one day with yourself and I want you to think about men and women and just think up scenarios. And I want you to write down what you think is good that's one of those terms that doesn't mean anything but i want you to think of what you think is good and i guarantee you after about 20 of these things you will find that 19 of them is the feminist ideology of good men shouldn't do this men shouldn't do this men shouldn't do this men should treat women like this men should no that was never the way what was good was being a powerful strong man not a powerful, strong woman. And if you think if you think that a powerful, strong woman is good, you have been indoctrinated into the feminist way. There is nothing on this gr planet that should make you think that being a woman plus powerful and strong is good. The terminology is an oxymoron. And thinking that that is good is a feminized way. So let's talk about competitive women. So you, you get into the dating scene, and here's what I want you to keep in mind. If she asks you to whip out your dick, and then she whips out her dick, and her dick is bigger, that's a competitive woman. Now, I'm not talking about actual physicality. These are all metaphorical. This is all metaphorical. So if she says, what do you do for a living? Oh, where do you work? Do you go on vacation? How much do you make? How much did you start out at? What's your college degree in? Now, that's all well and good uh, if over the course of time, over the course of several dates, uh, that's what she asks. But here's the deal. If the conversation goes like this, you need to you take your napkin, wipe your mouth, stand up and say, check, please. If the conversation goes like this, where do you work? Oh, really? I work at blah, 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 blah. How much do you make? Oh, really? I make this much. What is your degree in? Oh, really? My degree is in this. You need to stand up. Uh, men are lazy. Men are lazy. And what do I mean by lazy? I mean that they think that a lot of men, a lot of men, I, I don't think this way. A lot of men feel that they have gone through the trouble of capturing a woman and getting her to come to dinner. And, and there they've accomplished their goal. Their job is done. So the woman is at the table eating with them, laughing. Their job is done. If the panties drop, their job is done. And then you get into situations where you got two kids and she takes the house, the kids, and say that you're, says that you're a child molester and a, a wife abuser and a, a, a batterer and you, uh, you end up in jail. Why? Because you didn't take the time to actually s filter out through the idiocy that this woman is. I blame you. All of this MGTOW, I think it's a bunch of lazy men. Well, I got her to dinner. She she came to dinner. Uh, you know, uh, I, w I waited a, a year. We got married. Uh, you know, I, I got, I, I, I went to work. Did you ever stop and, and, and listen to the conversation that was, she was having? Did you ever stop? Women want you to listen. And I'm telling you, you better listen. I'm telling you, you better goddamn listen. But don't listen in to, uh, like the woman way. Listen like the actual logical man way. And that is, this wench is over here trying to compete with me. 
She don't care about me. She's trying to compete with me. You need to listen. This witch ain't about loving me. She's about gold. She's a gold digger. You need to listen. You ain't listening. She's telling you what she is. She's a snake in the grass and you're like, oh, those are some nice scales. They're nice purple and pink. That, that really goes good with your skin. Oh, green. Yeah, that really, that camouflages you in the underbrush. No, she's a snake. And then you go, oh, 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 if women go to go into the feminist, all you have to say is no. This entire feminist thing could could all, it could have been nipped in the bud if men had just gotten the balls to say, you know what, no. I can find a vagina over there. I can find bigger, better, prettier, browner boobs over there. Women want you to listen unto and Shikama is telling you, listen, but listen with with a logical ear. Not what you not, not what your you not what your man parts. Listen, they want you to listen. It's it's time for us to listen. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, you work at what? Dewey Cheatham and How? Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Okay, well, check, please. Right? You need to listen. Oh, you drive a BMW and I drive a Pinto and, you, and you're not having it? Check, please. That is a relationship that is going nowhere. All of these people say, it's about love. No, it ain't about love. It ain't even about love. Well, she took the house and the kids. She wasn't about you. You didn't listen. And what's funny is a lot of times your friends will come and say, um, I saw Shaniqua over there with Long Dong John around the corner. Huh? She was at the pool hall getting it on in the dark part of the corner. I thought she was your wife. I thought she was your girlfriend. I thought you were dating her. Oh, no. Y'all must have not seen her because she was at home with me watching Netflix. Uh, I fell asleep, but she was sitting right next to me. She done drugged you and went off to the club. You're not listening. And uh, I was going to make this a whole separate video. You need to, in this day and age, you need to speed date. And I don't mean go to one of these clubs where you sit down for 10 seconds. I mean, you need to have about 20 women at a time that you take out. And you're doing Dutch. You're not doing this. I'm paying for stuff. Those days are over. Women are strong, powerful, independent women who pay their own bills. Okay, then you pay your own damn bill. You need to get about 20 of them. And I don't want to hear none of you old women, old craggy over. I've been married for 30 years and a man I always pay. For. No, that those days are over. Your history. You're gone. You're out of here. This is a new day. Women want uh, equality. Okay, I give you equality. I've never paid for a date. Never, never paid for a date. And I've been dating, dating for a very long time. Never paid for a date. Even when we were, quote unquote, dating. It was always a, a us thing. She's going to contribute. I'm going to contribute. It was always an us thing because I don't mess around with no, you, you, you treat me. Who are you? You're not my child. You're a grown woman. You're not my child. Uh, what about chivalry? Chivalry was about one man talking to another man and pulling out his sword. That was chivalry. Uh, what about ro romance? Romance means uh, I I, don't, I took a rose and destroyed it and threw the threw the petals all over the place. That's romance. There's your romance. I got the Fabio book sitting on a nightstand. There's there's your romance. You're done. I want to marry for love. Are you going to marry for love? Okay. And then in two years, what are you, when you're married, what are you going to do? Uh, love lasts forever. No, it doesn't last about, about a year, six months. That's how long love lasts. Huh? Oh, you all are confused by Hollywood? Love lasts about six months. But uh, for some people, it lasts about a night. <laughs> <laughs> for some people love lasts until you get sober that's how love if you're gonna marry somebody you're gonna marry them for an actual reason that's that's how it's been done for thousands of years actually i don't i want to promote marriage but i want to promote that you marry the right woman everybody says we're all a good man we're all the right where's mr right no where's miss miss right where are the good women all of these Jezebels, these harlots, these sluts 
are getting in the way of, uh, you know, you have to be like, you know, you know, you have to uh, get that. What is it, this toilet boy scrub cleaner where the, the bubbles and they turn into little men and they're scrubbing all over. The, this is what you need. You need to spray that around spray that around. You want to go to lunch? Okay. Hi. How you doing? Hi. You going to pay for my lunch? No. Uh, bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Hi. How you doing? You going to go to lunch? All right. Let's go. Let's go to lunch. All right. All right. Hi. How you doing? Here. Uh, what kind of job you have? Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 You want to go to lunch? Yeah, let's go to lunch. All right. What kind of car you drive? Okay, bye, 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 bye. You know, you have to, just like Cartman on South Park who went on a uh, chat roulette and he says, okay, yeah, that's a dick. Okay, pass. Okay, that's a dick. Okay, pass. That's a dick. Okay, pass. That's a dick. Okay, pass. You, you just simply have to get through all of these harlots and these the whores and the sluts and the, all that, all that sort of stuff, the gold diggers. Yeah, you say, what? You think all the women are all good? Good is a hot commodity and a rare commodity, especially in women today, especially in women today. Uh oh, and this is not just black women, this is all women today. And black women have been completely bamboozled to come actually turn away from their own culture and listen to somebody else's culture. Uh, the white people have been at war with each other for uh, thousands of years. And, they're, and that's, and that's their culture. I believe that's their culture. I mean, if somebody can actually point to me where that's not the culture, I'm, I'm ready and willing and open to listening, but that's, that's been their culture for thousands of years. So it's, it's justifiable that white women would be at war with white men. That has nothing to do with you black women. Stop being confused. That is not our culture. And in fact, our culture is the exact opposite. Is our, our gods have been man and woman all the time. The twins, the all powerful, the all powerful was a duopoly. It wasn't a, a man. It was a man and a woman. Because how can a man give birth to anything, right? Nothing. Africa is very logical about the whole anthropomorphism of the deities. Anthropomorphism means like the human aspect of something. So if we're going to, we think of God, the term God, we're going to make him to a human God and the human is going to look like a man, right? For the Europeans, it's only a man, you know. Uh, for Africans, it's a man and a woman. Always, always. If you look at the Egyptian pantheon, it, at all all sorts of stages, it's just, uh, and his wife, and his wife, and his wife, and she did this, and he did this, and she did this, and he did this. And then they had sons, and they did this, blah, blah, blah. And then he married this this person, right? That's that's African. That is not our culture to war within the sexes. That is not our culture. So if you, uh, for black men, if you see a woman, a black woman who's at war with, she's been completely, you're not going to fix that. And you don't have the time, the effort, the energy, nor the money to fix that. I want you to be happy, and I want you to be selfish. You need to learn to be selfish. Black men, for, for whatever reason, are not selfish enough. Not for my taste. If you were selfish enough, you would be far richer across the board, all of you, and you wouldn't be marrying the Jezebels, the sluts, and the whores, and all that stuff, right? You wouldn't even be dating them, you know? That's why I say lunch. Lunch is quick, coffee, you know, that's why I say, are you going to pay for this? If you can't afford coffee, then you, 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 you're not worth my time. And this is the, this is what I want to bring out to you, out of you, black men. Is she worth your time? Um, clue phone. Just because she has a vagina doesn't make her special at all. There are more women on the planet than men. There are more women in the United States than men. In the black community, there are far more women than men. Huh? So, She's not special. Stop being lazy. You need to have, tw I'm telling you, you need to have about 20 dates every month and do lunch. And if you want a whore and a slut, just go to the club and get your whore and a slut. Get that out of, get that out of the way because that's, that's, you know, you all have no control whatsoever. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe one day I'll have a group that is really serious about making money and living life and I'll, uh, promote that self-control stuff but in the meantime for the rest of you, you people who think that uh having sex willy-nilly is is a-okay go to the club get you a slut get that out of the way don't marry her don't date her just you know do your business 
for one night. Okay, and then your your serious uh, love relationship or your love life, as they as they call it, is going to be dating twenty women. Not dating twenty women, but uh, having going on twenty dates every thirty days. And do lunch. Don't do dinners. Don't do movies. Don't do all that crap especially on a first date and why in the heck would you and what you need really need to do is you need to sift through them sift 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 okay a gold digger whore slut no morals not good got not good wife material not good mother material i know i know all these women say, women are no women are not more nurturing women they're not more motherly especially in this day and age have you checked out women today and what's really crazy is uh, i'm getting young women saying this uh women are my, no, have you looked around have you and what's funny is everywhere I go here in Vegas, I see the man pushing a cart, the baby, the baby carriage by himself at the park by himself with the baby. So all of this stuff and yes, they're black and all of this stuff about, uh, oh, oh, men are doing men are don't do this minute. That's all a lie. That's more of uh, put that in your list of stuff that feminists have taught you. Right. Especially the men, child, men, children, men have always been taking the, the child under the it was the woman who kept the boy from the man because she wanted to do whatever and uh, certain cultures said okay all right all right he's six years old he needs to get away from you yeah literally six years old and then 13 he becomes a man right but it's about six years old four years old six years old take him away from the woman because she's gonna turn him into a woman I mean, that's all she can turn him into. She can't turn him into a man. I, I know you women. I, I raised five boys. You know, you raised five women who have penises. And maybe the men in their life had to reverse the whole woman stuff. You can only turn something into a woman if you're a woman. Huh? Same thing with a man. A man can't, can't turn a little girl into a woman. He can teach her about how men think. Yeah. Huh? He can teach her about how boys think because he was a boy at once and he is a man so he can teach all of those aspects there i keep going back to africa it was always the aspect of the male and the female gods we were not confused about men and women and we were never at war with each other okay so you got it 20 dates every 30 days uh and that's if you're serious about your life and, and if you're talking, if you're one of these weirdos who think, uh oh, I'm, I'm just going to do it and I'm going to meet the right woman and then it's going to be magic and we're going to get married and everything. Goes, and then when she takes up, then, then you're going to be MGTOW, right? Oh, she took my house and my key. You weren't listening. I'm telling you, 20 dates every, thir every 30 days. And I'm talking about 20 completely different women. Why is it you study so long for a job that's going to impact your the rest of your life, but you go and date just the first girl that comes up to you? Are you crazy? Are you insane? And you don't listen. What car do you drive? Where do you work? How much you make? How big is your house? Did you pay cash for that? Can you treat me? You need to listen. Just listen. And you need to have a list. This is what you, this is the, here's the last list that you make. You need to have a list of what's unacceptable to you in a woman. You, you haven't sat down and actually thought about that, have you? And there are things that should be unacceptable to you. If you have any sort of morals, if you have any sort of standards, and fat should be one of them. Because if you're going to marry a fat woman, then she's going to turn the kids fat, and then you're going to have the kids with obesity and diabetes. Kids, your children are going to turn out like her. Oh, she comma, you shouldn't say that. That hurts people's feelings. I will have you know that women actually go out and say, I want my child to have green eyes. So she dates green eyed men. What does green eyes have to do with anything? Absolutely nothing. But they do that. I want my child. This, this is black women. I want my child to be light skinned. So she goes out and dates light skinned guys or even white guys. Huh? Oh, Shikama isn't being mean. Shikama is being real. It should be unacceptable that you should date a fat woman. You sh it should be unacceptable that you date a chubby woman because it gets worse as you get older. So not even chubby. She should be in shape. She should be the model for what you want as a wife. And you're the man. You're going to be providing everything. You need to have standards for the woman. That's how it's always been, actually. And, and get get rid of all of this these feminist notions of of you shouldn't hurt people's feelings. 
people's people come out in public right let's get real here people come out in public you don't think that you shouldn't judge others shut the hell up yes you should judge others that's why the world it is is in the way that it is right now because we've listened to politicians and said you shouldn't judge others uh make sure you vote for me uh you're a criminal you shouldn't judge others that's for the courts to decide no that's for me the voter to decide i need to judge Uh, he's a racist a vote for me though um but you actually throw black people in jail and let police off who actually murder black people in cold blood with videotape evidence and we should vote for you why oh because donald trump's a racist look over there Donald, look look over there look look over there no you should judge people it's called sound wisdom a wise man judges every second of the day that's what makes him wise you should judge women you should definitely judge women if they're going to come into your personal life and be a part of your life and potentially be a part of your financial life too thank you for watching the shikama live show